Welcome, and thank you for your interest in Komatsu products. Today we'll be covering the SER tab found in the monitor for the HST dozers. With that being said, let's get started. The SER tab is located in the user menu on the monitor. This tab is used to communicate information regarding the SER system. This tab will display a depth gauge at the top of the screen plus any important messages regarding system function. The diesel exhaust fluid level caution lamp is located below the depth gauge on the main monitor screen. This caution lamp can be three colors, blue, white, or red. Each color represents the status of the depth fluid. During most operating conditions, the caution lamp should be blue indicating normal conditions. A white lamp indicates the depth fluid is frozen and the level can't be detected. It is important to note when the machine is first started, the caution lamp may momentarily be white and then switch the appropriate color. This is considered normal and no action is required. A red lamp indicates the depth level has reached the 10% remaining level and the depth should be added immediately. If the depth level caution lamp illuminates red, perform the following steps. Turn the starting switch to the off position and add depth to the tank. Add depth fluid until the sight gauge displays full. Once the tank is full, make sure the system operating lamp near the battery disconnect switch is off. Turn the starting switch to the on position and check that the depth level gauge displays full. If the gauge does not read full, check the message on the SER information tab on the user menu. If please turn the key to the off position is displayed on the SER information tab, turn the starting switch to the off position and wait for the operating lamp to go out. Once the lamp is out, turn the starting switch on again. This should reset the level and the gauge should read correctly. To encourage proper maintenance and have timely repairs, the EPA have required all manufacturers to follow an inducement strategy. This inducement strategy will sound a unique audible alarm, warning lamp, and may limit engine performance. With that said, there are five levels of inducement associated with the depth level. Each level will cause the SER information screen to appear when the machine is placed into neutral and will indicate the level of inducement plus provide instructions. If a system abnormality or a level caution occurs, the inducement strategy will be activated. If the abnormality is not corrected, the level of inducement will change every hour until the level 5 is reached. For example, if the depth level reaches 10%, a warning will occur. From that point, the operator has four levels to add depth to the system before the machine reaches level 5, final inducement. Once level 5 or final inducement is reached, the machine will only idle. If the third level is reached, engine power is reduced. The operator has the ability to temporarily restore the engine power output during inducement from the SER tab. This is designed to help the operator get the machine to a place where service can be performed. This function is not intended to allow the machine to keep working. This restoration function will only work when the machine is in severe inducement and it only restores the machine to mild inducement. This function is offered in three 30 minute segments. For example, if level 4 inducement is reached and the operator uses one of the 30 minute restoration functions, the engine power will be restored to a level 3 function, which is a 25% reduction of the engine power instead of a 50% reduction. It is important to note, if the operator shuts off the engine during one of the 30 minute sessions, the remaining time for the session is lost. It is also important to note that if the problem that placed this machine in level 4 inducement changes to level 5, the temporary recovery is cancelled. This concludes the SER tab. Should you have any questions, please refer to the operation and maintenance manual found inside the cab. Thank you for your interest in Komatsu.